It's time to meet up PD Army. The Pune PD Army meetup is happening on the 15th of August. It's going to start at 10 a.m. and we have a lot of surprises just in store for you guys. And if you do not want to miss out on that, then please make sure you keep yourself free. And I, along with the rest of the team, are going to surprise you with some really interesting content. So 15th of August, 10 a.m. For more details on the venue, head down to Facebook and check it out. I've ridden for about 70 kilometers around Bangalore, spent about 12 to 14 rupees and I've not burned a single drop of fuel. Well, ask me how? It's all because of this scooter behind me. It's called the Aether 450, made by a company that rose from the dreams of two IIT grads. This one's a legit electric scooter that is coming out of India and it's our very own Tesla on two wheels. Ask me how? There are five reasons why. If I were to tell you this thing runs on petrol, you'd probably believe me. Clean being Aether's philosophy, this scooter's got smooth lines all over. No in-your-face badging except this Aether sticker that sticks out at the rear. And you've got an even smaller 450 sticker that sticks out at the front. The side stand tucks in beautifully and is one of the sexiest side stands that I have personally seen on a scooter. When you lift the seat up, it might look ordinary, but there's a lot of space in here. Space enough to keep a full-sized helmet. You've also got space to keep your gloves in here. This is where the charger will sit and you've also got LED backlight sort of thingy going on here which is used in case it goes night night. Okay, we have got the floorboard here. Now this might look ordinary but this is also where the battery pack sits. Right here at the bottom. It's a lithium ion battery pack. Strong enough to run a mid-sized house for a good 3-4 to four hours. Now Aether have tried to make the 450 look and feel as much of a conventional scooter as possible so that you don't feel out of your comfort zone. However, it's the little details that tear it apart from the rest. I like the way how they have left a bit of the subframe exposed and how the LEDs at the back could vaguely pass off as the ohm sign. Now when you sit astride it, you will definitely notice something unconventional. It is this IP65 rated capacitive color touchscreen which I'm sure even Tesla would approve. Now it's got its own SIM card so that you don't need to connect your phone thus saving you precious battery. But should you feel the need to connect your phone, it can be connected via this Aether app. This connectivity system also got its own navigation which is pretty handy. Especially if you're easily annoyed with the fact that on a conventional scooter you need to remove your phone every 2 kilometers or every 2 minutes for directions. The dashboard has really gone from just being a navigation provider to really being a very integral part of the smart of the vehicle. And it's sort of like the brain of the vehicle, it connects to the charger, the battery, the motor and sort of really coordinates things between them. If say something goes wrong with the vehicle, the dashboard is actually connected to everything on the vehicle, including peripherals. So something as simple as your light blows out, the dashboard is aware of these things. It sort of pops up on your phone app as well. And oh, everything is cloud connected. So you can simply update the vehicle firmware through over-the-air updates and get access to new features as it keeps learning from your ride patterns. Also, we had a cloud cover for the entire duration of the ride, so we really couldn't test how it performs under bright sunlight. If you are in the habit of wearing leather gloves, be ready to remove them every single time you want to access the screen. The DC motor offers 20.5 Newton meters of torque and a peak power output of 7.24 bhp. You really feel that enthusiasm when you ring the throttle. No other scooter on the market responds like this. 60 km per hour comes up effortlessly and if you really really ring it, this scooter will do 0 to 40 kmph in just 3.9 seconds. That's more than enough poke for the city. The ride quality is slightly towards the firmer side but nothing that will hurt your back. Even around the bends, the Aether will put a smile on your face with its low center of gravity and rear monoshock suspension. It is as flickable, maybe even more than a conventional scooter. As far as the vibrations go, there are literally no vibrations. But the cooling fan kicks in pretty often and it can get a little bit annoying. The total weight of the Aether 450 is 118 kilograms, just 2 kilos more than your Entoc 125. The weight is not felt when you're riding, 
but it definitely is felt when you're taking it off the side stand. And here's the crazy part. The A3450 also gets a creep mode of sorts, which basically allows you to go reverse as well as forward at slow speeds when you're stuck in tight parking spaces. Biber handles braking duties for the 450 and a combined braking system will come in as standard. While the front feels a little spongy, the rear has quite a tenacious bite that takes some time to get used to. But run it for a couple of hundred kilometers using both the brakes together and you shall be fine. But what if you run out of juice? You basically come to one of these uh, Aether host locations and find this. This is the Aether grid but this whole system here is called the point. And just like you charge your smartphone with a normal cable, all you have to do is take out the cable, open up the flap, plug it in and you are good to go. But how long does it take? Now Aether says you can fast charge it from 0 to 80% in about one hour, that is basically uh, a kilometer per minute but a full charge usually takes about 2 hours and 40 minutes you can also check the status of the charge right here on the phone on an app well mine says it's got a little more time to go so I'm gonna chime in a word about the grid before I jump on to the price one day Aether reckons that you will never be more than four kilometers away from an Aether grid The Aether 450 is going to set you back by Rs 1.25 lakh on road Bangalore. Now I know what you're thinking. It is too much to ask for a scooter and it doesn't even look like it's going to act in a Spielberg movie. But it's not and here's why. The Aether 450 has been built by people who know exactly what they are doing. It also means you get what you pay for. Stuff like a strong yet light aluminium hybrid chassis, a belt drive for noiseless and efficient power delivery, doorstep service and you also get a IP67 water resistant battery that is claimed to have a life of 50,000 kilometers. While we really cannot test the life of the battery at this very moment of time, we did not face any issue during our entire test run. What's more, the running cost, the service space as well as the consumables for the first year become zero if you choose to opt for the all-inclusive Aether One subscription that's worth less than Rs 10,000 a year. So far, it seems like the A3450 is a legit Indian Tesla on two wheels. But before I zoom off, here are a couple of things where I think it's not a Tesla yet. I wish it had a ludicrous mode. Now, I know it gets a power mode, but uh, none of the witchcraft that sees it flying past super bikes. Something that would make you go back to your mommy. And of course, you don't have the autonomous feature yet where you can move to the pillion seat and enjoy the ride. Well, I'm just kidding. In all seriousness, the A3450 is a promising product. Not just the product, the whole ecosystem of Aether Energy seems to live up to the hype. And with Hero backing them up, you can expect some great products from Aether Energy in the future. A sub 1 lakh scooter? Why not? A motorcycle? Maybe. But Aether is yet to do a few tweaks in terms of getting the quality of parts better, the side stand as well, when it's completely out, when you tilt it onto the side stand, it leans out quite a fair bit. So that is something that is yet to solve. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick zippy coverage of the Aether 450. Make sure you drop a like, make sure you leave a comment and make sure you share it with your friends. Meanwhile, Rohan and Glenn are having some fun and their content is going to be up and ready on our channel. So make sure to keep your notifications on and like always, stay subscribed. Until the next one, I'm Varun Painter. We'll see you later.